Fifth grade, chapter seven, lesson 10. Find unknown links. Unlock the problem. Sarah wants to design a rectangular garden with a section of four flowers that attract butterflies. She wants the area of the section to be three fourths square yard. If she wants the width to be one third the length, what will the dimensions of the butterfly section be? Read the problem. What do I need to find? I need to find the dimensions of the butterfly garden. What information do I need to use? The part of the garden for butterflies has an area of three fourths square yard and the width is one third the length. How will I use the information? I will guess the size of the butterfly area. Then I will check my guess and revise it. If it is not correct, solve the problem. I can try to find different lengths and calculate the widths by finding one third the length. For each length and width, I find the area and then compare it. Compare. If the product is less than or greater than 3 fourths square yard, I need to revise the length. So they tried 3 fourths and then they took 1 third times 3 fourths, which equals 1 fourth, and then they took 3 fourths times 1 fourth, which was 3 sixteenths, and that was too low. So they needed to try a longer length. So then they tried 2 and 1 fourth, which is also equivalent, equivalent to 9 fourths. So they took 1 third times 9 fourths. They were able to simplify before they went. They got 3 fourths, so they took 9 fourths times 3 fourths, and they got 3 7 sixteenths, which is also equivalent to 1 and 11 sixteenths, which is too high, so they needed to try a shorter length. Then they tried 1 and 1 half, or also equivalent to 3 halves. They took 1 third times 3 halves, and they got 1 half. So then they took 1 half times 3 over 2, which is also equivalent to 3 fourths. And that was the correct answer. So the dimensions of Sarah's butterfly garden will be half yard, a half yard by one and a half yards. Try another problem. Marcus is filling a rectangular box for his kitten to sleep in. He wants the area at the bottom of the box to be 300 square, 360 square inches and the length of one side to be one and three fifths the length of the other side. What should the dimensions of the bottom of the bed be? What do I need to find? I need to find the dimensions of the bottom of the bed. What information do I need to use? Area 360 inches squared. Length is one and three fifths of the other length. Set up a chart. How I use the information? I will set up a chart and try different lengths and revise if not correct. Solve the problem. First of all, we guessed 12. We knew the width was uh, one and three fifths times something, so we convert that into eight fifths. So we took eight fifths times 12 over one equals 96 over 5, which is also 19 and 1 fifth. So then we took 96 fifths times 12 over 1, which got us 1,152 over 5. And then we simplified that and got 230 and 2 fifths. So we knew that was too low because it did not get us 360. So then we tried 18. So we took 8 over 5 times 18 over 1. We got 144 fifths, which simplified as 28 and 4 fifths. So we took 144 this times 18 over 1, and we got 518 and 2 fifths, which we knew was too high. So then we tried 15, so we took 8 this times 15 over 1, and we were able to simplify before we started, and we got 24. So then we took 24 times 15 over 1, and that got us 360, so we knew that was the correct answer. So the dimensions of the bottom of the kitten's bed will be 15 inches by 24 inches. What if the longer side was still 1 and 3 fifths the length of the shorter side, and the shorter side was 20 inches long? What would the area of the bottom of the bed be then? So we took 8 fifths times 20, and we got 32. So it would be 32 inches by 20 inches. Sharon showed when Pascal built a dog house, he knew he wanted the floor of the house to have an area of 24 square feet. He also wanted the width to be two-thirds the length. What are the dimensions of the dog house? First, choose two numbers that have a product of 24. So you guys told me that 8 and 3 could be a possibility and 6 and 4 could be a possibility. Then we discussed how um, 8 and 3 is not real close on the number line and two-thirds is pretty close. So we decided that 6 and 4 would be the better choice. So then we check those numbers. Is the greater number two-thirds of the other number? So we took two-thirds times six, and then we put it six over one. We were able to simplify before we began. Three went into three once. Three went into six twice. 
So we took 2 times 2 and we got 4. So our answer was, or our guess was correct. Finally, if the guess is not correct, revise it and check again. Continue until you find the correct answer. So the dimensions of the doghouse are 6 feet by 4 feet. Number 2. What if Pascal wanted the area of the floor to be 54 square feet and the width still to be 2 thirds of length? What would the dimensions of the floor be? So first of all, we need to figure out what some multiples of 54 are or some factors of 54 are, right? So what times what could get us 54? 8 times 3 is 24. 9 times 6. Okay, can you guys think of any other factors that get you 54? No? Okay, so let's go ahead and try it. So we had the 54 square feet and we need two thirds of the length. So um, Aiden said 9 and 4. So we're going to take 54 over 1 times. Or, sorry, not 54 over 1. We're going to take 2 thirds times 9, right guys? Because that's our bigger part and see if we can get 6. So 2 thirds times 9 over 1. Can I simplify before I start? Yeah. Yep. What am I going to put? 3 goes into 3. 1. Three goes into 9. Three times, so two times three is six. So would that work? Yes. So our dimensions are nine feet by six feet. Leo wants to paint a mural that covers a wall with an area of 1,440 square feet. The height of the wall is two-fifths of its length. What is the length of the height? In the height of the wall. So 1,440 square feet, two fifths of its length. What is the length and the height of the wall? Can we do an area model? Yes. Okay. So what is our formula for area? Area equals length times width. Do we know our area? Yep, so we can plug that in. So we have 1,440 equals, do we know the length? No, we only, we know it's L, and then we know that the width is 2 fifths times the width, right? Leo wants to paint a mural that covers a wall with an area of 1,440 square feet. The height of the wall is two fifths of its length. What is the length of the height of the wall? So we did area equals length times width. Our area is 1,440 equals the length, and then our width is two fifths of the length. So then we took one, we plugged in a couple numbers. We tried 40 first, and we said 1,440 equals length times 2 fifths times 40, which we were able to simplify to begin with, and 5 went into 40 eight times. So we took 40 times 16, and we only got 640, so our answer was too low. Then we tried 70, so we took 1,440 equals length times 2 fifths times 70 which we were able to simplify. 5 went into 70 14 times, so 2 times 14 was 28. So then we took 70 times 28, and we got 1,960, which was a little too high. So then we tried 60. So we put 1,440 equals length times 2 fifths times 60, which 5 was able to go into 60 12 times. So 2 times 12 was 24. So then we plugged 60 in. 60 times 24 got us 1,440, which is the correct answer. So our dimensions are 60 feet by 24 feet. Gary wants to make a drawing that is one fourth the size of the original. If a tree is in the original drawing, it's 14 inches tall. How tall will the tree in Gary's drawing be? So what are we going to try first, guys? So one fourth the size 
of the original drawing, original drawing is 14 inches tall, and then how tall will Barry's drawing be? So what we need to put 14 over 1 times 1 fourth. Can I simplify before I begin? Yeah. No. No. So, actually, yes, we can. What goes into both 4 and 14? Mm -hmm. 2. So, this would be 2. And how many times does 2 go into 14? 7 times. 7 times. So, this equals 7 halves, which is also equivalent to 3 and 1 half. So three and one half inches. A blueprint is a scale drawing of a building. The dimension of the blueprint for Penny's dollhouse is one fourth of the measurements of the actual dollhouse. The floor of the dollhouse has an area of 864 square inches. If the width of the dollhouse is two thirds of the length, what are the dimensions of the floor on the blueprint of the dollhouse? 